lot of you been wondering, well, what's a logarithm? This song's for you. Yo, check it. Algebra 2 Trigoners, Red 3. Mr. Geiger, yo. Clap to the beat, stomp to the rhythm, and I'll tell you why I love logarithms. So pick up your paper and grab your pencil or logs, just the inverse of an exponential. It's simply a power which raises a base to equal a number and does it with grace. Now you know what it is, but you still gotta hone it. The formula for a log is base answer x thrown it. Log goes first, base goes under. The next to that, you got a number. This number's your answer, but in this case, we wanna find the power. Power that raises the base, solving for an x power. The logs your operation, similar to how division unders multiplication. Now you know a lot, but you're some missing some tools. I'ma lay down some logarithmic rules. When logs of the same base are added, dog, multiply their answers expressed as a single log. You can do the same if those logs are subtracted, but divide those answers. Now your logs compact. However, keep this in mind if you wanna be efficient. You can't do these tasks if a log has a coefficient. No, if a log has has a power above its answer, move it to the front. Bam, log enhancer. Here's a few tidbits so you can have fun. A log base of the same base is always one. Here's another rule, which can be a hero. Any log base of one is always zero. Oh, one last thing. I don't mean to be a bummer, but you can't find the log of a negative number. Okay, now you're set and do your best. Good luck. I'm sure you'll ace that chapter four test. Word.